I'm going to see if I can try to kind of show you how to do the note cards using Canva. I don't know if you use Canva at all, but it's a really powerful desktop editor. It's pretty easy to use once you get the hang of it. Um, but what I would be doing if I was trying to print note cards is you're basically designing a blank sheet of paper, 8.5 by 11. So it's whatever you put on that 8.5 sheet of paper is what's going to print. Canva doesn't print itself. You have to download the file and then print it with photos or a preview or whatever. But to create a couple of note cards with Canva, what I would do is I would bring up, bring up Canva. I think they have a free version. I would come over here onto the right and I would click on create a design and then I would say I want my design to be eight and a half inches wide by 11 inches tall because I think most of these cards are portrait uh, orientation and click on create a new design and eventually there we go so this is my workspace here and it is essentially a sheet of paper because the two note cards on the Avery forms are a sheet of paper in reality so here's my sheet of paper. I would come over here to my uploads and I uploaded this little seahorse card earlier and it click on it. It brings it right into my Canva workspace. And the cool thing is when you, um, you open a, a, a greeting card, the image is on the right hand side. So I put my little seahorse up here in the upper right corner. And when I change the size of it, it's going to tell me when I have it, there you go. When I have it, in the in the corner up there it's going to tell me i'm halfway between uh, up up and down and left and right it's right there in that corner so that's exactly where i want it to be those little guidelines pop up when you get an image centered like that i could make the other half the card down here a different image if i wanted to but let's just say i wanted to do this same seahorse i just do a copy and paste and bring it down here and it's gonna it'll, it'll tell you when it's lined up now watch me lie about it. You're not going to tell me. Anyway, close enough. <clears throat> so anyway, this is my two seahorses. That's the outer half of my card. If I download that image, it's, again, it's a sheet of paper. And I put my Avery card stock into my printer and just print it. It's going to print these two seahorses on the card stock. You can break them in half and have two blank seahorse cards. Now, if I wanted to print something on the inside, it's a little bit trickier. I could create, not that, go back. Go back over here to Canva, and I would say I want to create another 8.5 by 11. And it brings me up another note card. The writing part is on the right-hand side. So if I said I want to put text on the right-hand side, say whatever, heading, whatever. Um, it will let me know again when I've got it over the halfway mark. It's going to bring up the little guide. There it is. We have the little guidelines, and I would say thank you or whatever I want to say. And uh, the, the center it up and down is they don't have guidelines. I don't think that actually to show you where the middle of the page is, but you can kind of eyeball it. A sheet of papers, eight and a half by eleven. If you have the guidelines to come up, and they're not coming up for me right now. Just I can just kind of eyeball where I want it to be. I, I would practice this on plain paper until you get it figured out, how to send the paper through your printer. And again, I could just copy and paste that down below. And that would print me the inside of two seahorses on the outside, thank you on the inside note cards. I could, again, I could make the upper half and the lower half of the two cards be different. I could make the writing different on the inside. But this method is going to print both cards at the same time. Um, my big printer will not let me send through paper that's not the size it's expecting. So when I print half of a card, or one half of the set, I want one card at a time, I set it up as printing an envelope because it's four and a half inches, four and a quarter inches high ever how long it is and make it like I think it's it's printing an envelope and then it'll print just one card. Um, 
the tricky thing you have to do is when you're printing these, when you get the seat horse part to print, whatever part comes out of your printer first, you're going to want to put that end of it in the printer so that it's down, so it'll come out the end first again because you want it to be the same orientation on the inside as it is on the outside. So just take your paper, flip it over so it's the back side of it, have the top part, have the top part that printed first or the bottom, whichever comes out first, be the same when you print it through the second time. I hope that made some sense. Um, if not, I can try to actually do a camera video of how I send stuff through my printer Again, my big Canon printer is, is strange on how it handles paper, but I would be happy to do that. Okay? I hope this worked. Thanks. Bye.